we are engaged in the battle of the identity of our country. And the choices that we make, and how they will define who we are for generations to come. Are we clenched and closed, cold and sharp and scared? Or are we big? Are we gutsy? Are we resilient and righteous? Do you see that uncertainty and lean into it? Or do you back away? You turn on the TV today and you'll hear leaders talk about building walls to keep people out. Follow the debates in Washington around health care, budgets, or tax reform, and you'll see elected representatives that are cheering policies that will bring the sick and the scared and their suffering to their knees. A speaker of the House who calls it mercy, and a president who calls it greatness. An administration that callously chooses who is worthy of protection and who is not, who counts and who doesn't, who is welcomed and who can be turned away. We have seen red lines littered throughout our government. This is the most we can do. This is the most we can help. This is as far as we will go. No further, no deeper, no more. And then there's the Peace Corps. Because you all have done and continue to do the exact opposite. Take one look at the globe that is awash in unrest and division and discord and says, Put me in the game. Ask me to help. <clears throat> Expect me to chip in and do my part. Challenge me to do more. In the weeks, months, and years to come, we will continue to be tested, as we are at any moment. We will be forced to choose collectively how that story is written. So let's be the country that gave the world the peace party country that conquered the moon, a country that refuses to set anything less than the high watermark for human rights, that sees dignity in diversity, that keeps its promises, that is not just great, but is truly good. Let's be a country that a young American president challenged to change the world because he never doubted for one second what we are capable of. And all of you sitting here on a glorious Memorial Day weekend have proved him right. Thank you so much.